has bought boots, so it won't be a naked blink. Quite yet. Do you still consider brown boots blink naked blink? Yes. Okay. The seeds of fortune. Come on, who does <laughs> who, who, who skips the boots now? Oh, and MJW get, does get cut out trying to go for the rune, and first blood goes to first enemy blood. GG. Man, so many heroes there for that. Up. Everybody has to buy one. Oh, a little bit late on his timing, but it looks like he's going to move around for the six-minute rune. Tinker not interested in the top rune. He does have a ward. Oh, he looks like he's going to Oh, he's right dead. He's it. dead. Oh. oh, they split oh. up a little bit. Frenzy. Back, but he should still get this. Oh, and man. And they have no magic damage, so... Boss is going to turn around on... Uh... Oh. JW keeping around in the back. Badden gets amped up and will fall to Visa. BSJ forced to hide into a creep, but this thing is not quite in deny range to MJW. Know what he wants to do about that creep, and looks like it would just amp and run away at the end of the day. From enemy GG from the Roche pit trying to wrap around. There are only two heroes here. Can Visa blink out in time? Looks like there will be at least one casualty here. Oh, there's going to be two. There's going to be two. That was a, actually a really good play by the Winter Weapon. Oh, actually, they are thinking about turning around. And we see a Roar who will actually push away through the heroes. And there will be two, and just not the two that we thought. Well, in the end, that was not as bad. They they traded two heroes that were going to die already. It was at least based the right way to blink out. Yeah, I think, I think he was probably doing something else. He might have been talking to his team or something, because he just stood there for a while. Maybe, maybe buying treads. Who knows? Well, I'll be a tread at that point. DCNC trying to burst down BSJ, who already has his relic. Radiance Halfway to his radiance. DCNC gets glimpsed back. He does have a DD, though no one wants to stand toe to toe. With DCNC, sentry drop down. Meld will be useless here. MJW kind of caught out on his lonesome, being chased down. But here comes Visa with the armlet. Old Embrace saves BSJ. Very nice. Winter's Curse coming out, followed by a Static Storm. BSJ will be cleaning up. Will the armor toggle be enough? No. BSJ will survive and take down Visa in the process. A glimpse a second time will lead to MJW. Oh, he gets out. Oh, he gets out. Just barely. Near so, nice. Very, uh, very ballsy TP there. Elf snipe. We got a dagger picked up on the... Badden as well. You are trying so hard. I, uh, I, 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 I <laughs> think about it. I, I think about it now. Yo, casting's hard, man. It's very hard. You're doing great, Charlie. Nice oh try. man, this this ancient black dragon got owned. He will have himself in fast, but he has gotten everyone down to half HP. Can Sovereign save him at the end of the day? There is no shield to stop the fiend's grip, and Banana Slam Jamma will fall to the hands of Franz. C, C, and C. Two shots to disrupt. There looks like it might be a chain feed here. Visa slightly slow on the crush, and he will get Winter's Curse down. Not able to armlet toggle through that. Sovereign, no ulti, and will get smashed by the TA. That was a really unfortunate series of events for enemy. Why Why did he not shield him? Maybe he wasn't in range? It looked like he wasn't in range. The hawk. Yeah. yeah. There's so many things. Yeah, they FDL have a Radiance really great vision game. This right here. They have scanned. They will see BSJ running around. All right, he here is up we in go. front. Uh, about his position is way too good. Yeah, they don't want to go on him because they don't know what's behind him. And uh, there's a team fight going on. Flying Keeper gets taken out immediately. We got a Winner's Curse on MJW, but looks like he will live through it. And uh, CNC and C and Pisa chasing all throughout the base, but looks like so far Flying Zebra is going to be the only casualty as he does die back here. Oh, and the Disruptor gets taken out. Really turn the game back around for enemy GG. Tinker just seems like he has not been used at all in this, uh, this game. Like, even with farm, can he really do that much? Unless he has, like, Dagon 5 DB. No, he needs so many items this game, and he's already behind. Alright, I guess 
So CNC, CCNC gets caught out. Looks like he's just going to accept his fate, but he does have the Aegis. And team fight going on. Roron flying Zebra. He gets taken out by that really big TA. BSJ is going on MJW, but he's surrounded by four heroes. And he will be taken down. Sovereign left by himself. And he goes down as well. Now they're just cleaning up. Amp damage, plus some belt, plus Dezo, makes quick work of any dire hero. How well can he not die? Yeah. <laughs> what, oh. they're already set up? Oh no, and he gets gripped right here. That's a prediction by the Bane. I saw that ending from Miles. <laughs> and uh, Sovereign tries to TP up, but he does get slept up. But the wow. Flying Zebra gets taken out in the back, Disruptor got taken out earlier, and this looks like... Even if Tinker yeah. buys back right now, they can't do anything. No, he can't do anything, it's just the Tinker and the Nakes. And, uh, it's he, might, he might just die again. If he dies again, it's GG right here, so... Up now and try and go for it. Really looking for that opportunity. Any opening here, yep. and they'll probably go. Alright, CNC is just gonna BKB up and try and take this tower. Nothing you can do about that one. Eight Golden Brave Towers. And I think that'll probably be the end of that. Mm -hmm. Try and split push it out until the next Aegis. Oh, they do get a glimpse back on MJW, but not even scared. Does not bother popping his BKB. Oh, this might be an opportunity here. Oh, nice double crush coming out from Visa. Flying Zebra does get roared. Where is the defusal? Slayer gets taken out of the back by CCNC and MJW. Buyback coming out from the Wyvern. Tinker down for 16. And, uh, BSJ trying to do his best against four heroes, but, uh... He has no Iron Talon. Good. Not a good sign. Oh, but he does get the kill and the Aegis does go down. CCNC, live and healthy. BKB almost up again. But the rest of the... He has to go back to heal, and that is a range rack taken out. They, Frenzy plays in a lot of, like, five-man matchmaking. He's played against, like, a lot of awful shit. Oh, Frozen. So Frozen. Three-shot BSJ caught out on his lonesome Sovereign. He's desperately trying to come in to stop this grip. He does have the Lotus Orb ready. King King self sleep himself, but MJW coming around from the back, flying Zebra. Gets obliterated by MJW, BSJ trying to take down the DKD. Nature's Prophet, Sovereign, his ulti is wearing out. Can MJW stand toe to toe? And looks like one hit away. And he will let him live. At the meantime, CCNC destroys dire top melee barracks. He just goes to the, just goes directly to the wave. March, blink back, rinse to repeat. Yeah, he's safe. He's playing very safe. Safe is good. Very good. Oh, we've got a roar on BSJ, but uh, looks like he's going to be okay as he just TPs out. But Sovereign, however, I think he's dead. Oh, he can blink. No. Oh, no, he does, but... uh. Alright, he's actually going to live. Managed to get back in time. BSJ gets back in though, he's... He's not fine. As the rest of his team gets zoned out by the Slardar. Oh, nice, great way to dodge that crush. And that Winter's card barely does anything to Visa. He will get Glimmer caped up and you see a buyback coming up from a bad and Slayer trying to chase him down, but kind of thinking twice about blinking up that cliff. Visa turns it around on Slayer, pops his armlet, but the uh, laser will be too much. Frog tries to BKB and take him <laughs> down. The ECNC left one on one with Sovereign, but his ulti has already cooled down. ESJ coming in from the back, CCNC could be in a little bit of trouble here. Tinker chasing around from the back. Maybe you can ch chase him with the Blink Shiva. And they do not have the tension. But they do have Manta. They do have Radiance as well. He's he's just stuck there. Yep. Refraction not going to do you any good versus the March. Slayer is out of mana though. BKB is just going to try and blink out here. Oh, oh. What, a, what a cheeky little blink. Except Sovereign has blink too. They might not know that he's there anymore. 
They can pop a sentry ward inside there. Yeah, but yeah. he's inside the trees. Sentry ward gives vision for a little bit. Ten <laughs> seconds. If they know that he's there, but it doesn't look like he do they do. Uh, oh! Sovereign. They need a BOT too. Tinker's gonna have to TPM, but he's a couple of waves away. CSE and C will pick up an invisibility rune. Sentry ward popped oh, down by Sovereign. Him. And that is a big kill. 2200 gold. Going to a bad and Stain King might join in the chain feast. Second sentry drop down. Stain King getting glimmer cake. It will expire. It is never too late for the throws. Never too never late. Too late for the throws. Easy T1. That's like 5,000 gold going for enemy GG. We want some more sustain in the fight, but I feel like it's really unnecessary. He already has a BKB. Oh, you need refresher. Oh. Yeah, he really should get a refresher. DSJ gets roared up. He is raged, though. He is out in no man's land. However, he does have the agents. How long can he survive until his team comes in? See if EOT2 onto Sovereign. He will cancel it in the meantime. MJW trying to take down BSJ. Ulti not popped yet. BSJ under the protection of the Abaddon ult will go crushing Bane. And all they get is a range rack that was already at like 200 HP. But that's not even a good trade for FDL. Winner's Chris, I keep on doing that. Cold Embrace. So you're really seeing that the effect of that spell. And what do you know? Enemy GG taking a racks of their own. Melee racks will be slain by BSJ. Tinker trying to, or TA trying to toy around with him. BSJ thinking twice about TPing out. GCSC gets keeped up. Is there any save for him? Glimmer Cape into BKB. Frauds out in the back line. Bean will slay the disruptor. Frauds getting cheaped up for a second time. BSJ is gripped down in the middle of nowhere. Can't stop her to save him. BSJ getting taken down very quickly by this backline slayer. Will manage to TP out in time. Sovereign. Looks like JM will be lost or will it not? We see a sprout. Maybe we'll get vision of him, but Blink crushes not in time. The bash is out of that. The bash is on cooldown, unfortunately for them. Did not take a save in the mid fight where PSJ could have just TP'd out with a rage, but Tinker was just like, let's do this. I got sheep, I got hex, I got POT too, so let's get in there. Man. Oh, Franz gets caught out here and he is dead. Prefer oh. oh, just one thing. Sheep. One thing Heart is good for is uh, feeding PSJ a lot of uh, life steal. You know, if you if you want to heal him up for like 300 a hit, you get Heart. Uh, <laughs> tier 1 finally goes down top. Uh, looks like FDL wants to do something here with that Nature's Prophet TPM, but they don't realize uh, there are I mean, a lot of heroes. Yeah, BOT2 is coming in. We see a Winter's Curse locking down Bisa until the cavalry arrives. Tinker will X him up immediately after. And they lack physical damage, but it looks like he is coming into the process. Permahex will be enough to slay another member of FDL. And who throws less? Who who wins those crucial team fights? I, I think you mean whoever the crucial one with the next Roshan spawning in 40 seconds. Yes, it's gonna be the team that wins two fights in a row. BSJ gets gripped up, and where is everyone? Okay, yeah. and Cold Embrace. And he does have an official play. Will hop into the dragon. The dragon buys enough time for Sovereign to come in. And he will start popping his cooldowns onto PSJ. Borrow the time coming down. Pawns getting owned right here. All their PKBs are almost down in the process. And now they have the turn tailor run. Slayers. Blink Scythe is going to be king. They have stopped Slaughter's Blink. Can they stop it a second time? They have the glimpse back into the immediate hex. And that will be the crucial fight around the Rose Pit, Winter Wyvern. This guy always there. He gets embraced, you roar the Tinker and just You sleep the Abba and then just immediately roar and kill Tinker. And then that could that could be really good. Because at this point you just want to kite the life stealer because he's doing too much. Well, right. we see an Infest Bomb coming in. Sovereign with this blink will be coming out. He does have a Vanguard plus a Basher. Excuse me, at this, one, at this point, PSJ does get gripped up. And that was a glimpse of Stopper. Slayer is he beating himself, and we see a huge Winter Star coming out. That's the right spell. <laughs> <laughs> and CCMC gets shaken up immediately after. Looks like things are going disastrously for Team FDL. Pizza against Parma Hex. And that is 3 for 0 at the end of the day. Great Winter Star coming out. Like, that's like the, almost the entire duration of their BKP.
Two of them get disabled at the same time, then you can't really do that much. Well, melee racks being beaten down by BSJ. He does get amped up, but all his team are sitting about one screen away, just waiting for BSJ to be initiated on without getting jumped on themselves. Franz goes into the back, roars up flying zebra. He will fall. All right, this is a good start so far. They do take out the Winter Wyvern. MJW pops his uh, BKP and Visa. Looks like a three shot to disrupt their sovereign shortly to fall after his ultimate is down in the process. Slayer will permahex. Will see CMC die? He does not have five back Visa getting slain by PSG in the front line, protected by Lotus Orb. And that will be another death. No buyback on Slardar. And it is never too late for throws. FKL calls the GG. 59 minutes on the game time. Enemy takes this in a spectacular fashion. I'm back, man. Wow. I did not see that one go. I, I didn't see that coming. FDL was 30, Four, no, no, 40, they were 40,000 gold ahead. They didn't even really make any large mistakes. That's the crazy part.